أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارا. He says this is more than just attention of the mind because sometimes a person who's reading the Quran is not thinking about anything else but is just listening to it but they're not going further into that deep reflection. So it's not just being attentive now, it's to start to ponder, ponder. The purpose of reading the Qur'an is to ponder over it. For this reason, it is sunnah to read the Qur'an in a slow and distinct manner, as we took earlier. This, this tartil is to read it so we can ponder. And to read the Qur'an in this manner outwardly is sunnah, so that the inward pondering can be strengthened. Ali ibn Abi Talib, may God be pleased with him, said, there is no good in a devotional act which is not understood, nor in Quran reading which is not pondered over. Dabe, als in sein Versteck dir hoher, so fort erkennbar, dir engetraut.